بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل وسلم على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد in the name of allah the most gracious and the most merciful i ask allah the most merciful to send peace and blessings up on prophet muhammad and whoever follows prophet muhammad in good deeds until the day of resurrection assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah now before i start this weekly setting of knowledge i would just like to give and for you to give an account of all the previous settings we should utmostly try to make all these settings beneficial we should not aim at just gathering knowledge without the implementation we studied quranic ayats before and hadiths of the prophet we should be working our utmost to implement these Islamic preaching in our daily lifestyle. And I hope we're doing that. I hope the information that we are getting is an evidence for us and not against us. Now in this sitting, I would like to put some spotlight on the treatment of the parents the treatment of the mother and father and finally the treatment of your kinship now in our sitting i'm going to give you a few quranic verses that speaks about the importance of the good relationship that one should have with their parents and their close relatives. Now let's start. Allah, the Most High, says, Worship Allah and join not with Him in worship, and do good to parents, king folks, orphans, all miskin, al miskin. The poor, the neighbor who is near of kin, the neighbor who is a stranger, the companion by your side, the wayfarer you meet, those slaves whom your right hand possesses. Now in this verse, Allah has stated numerous people that you should be good to. First and foremost, Allah has stated that you should worship none except him. Are we doing this throughout our lives? Are we making the fear? Are we making or all our acts of worship only for Allah? Are we fearing Allah in what we say on a daily basis? Then, are we being kind to our neighbors, family, parents? Are we? Think about this in order that this ayah is not considered a evidence against you in your grave and also on the day of resurrection. Now let's go to the second evidence. Allah the Exalted says, And fear Allah, though whom you demand your mutual rights, and do not cut the relationship of the womb. Kingship. And those who join that which Allah has commanded to be joined. That is, they are good to the relatives and do not sever the bond of kingship. kingship. Meaning the relatives, the aunts, the uncle, do not cut them off from you. They are close to you in every way. 
And this verse is in the 13th chapter of the Quran, verses 21. And let's move on. And we have enjoined on man to be good and dutiful to his parents. Now, throughout these verses, you can see numerous mentioning of being good to the parents. Are you being good to your parent or parents? Are you being honorable to them both? Are you thinking before you talk to them? Are you expressing the utmost respect when you speak to them? Are you doing what they are asking you or commanding you to do? And I should make a point. Now, in this situation, if your parent or parents commands you to do something that is on Islamic, you should not obey them. Why? Because Allah, who is your creator and their creator, has made rules and regulations for you in order to be on the straight path to him. And Allah, the exalted, has said, And your Lord has decreed that you worship none but him. And this is the importance of Tawheed. Worshipping Allah in sincerity and oneness. And that you be dutiful to your parents. Again, dutifulness is very important. If one of them or both of them attain old age in your life, Say not to them a word of disrespect, nor shout at them by addressing them in terms, but address them in terms of honor, and lower unto them the wing of submission and humility through mercy, and say, My Rabb, O oh, oh Lord, bestow on them your mercy as they did bring me up as I was, or when I was young. Chapter 17, verses 23 to 24. So you can see, throughout these ayats, throughout these verses, the importance of worshipping your Lord in oneness and in truth. Secondly, looking at the relationship between you and your parent or parents. Let's move on. And we have enjoyed on man to be dutiful and good to his parents. And let me just make a point. When we say good and dutiful to your parents, this comprises of many things. The way you act around them, the way you look at them, when you implement what they have said. And this should be in the best of all manners. So if your mother or father asks you to do this, you should say, okay, mommy, I'll try to do it as quickly as possible, and so forth. Let's continue. Then Allah, the, most, the exalted, says, His mother bore him in weakness and hardship upon weakness and hardship. And his weaning is two years. Give Thanks to me and to your parents. And you can see in this verse, Allah states, give thanks to me and, his, and the parents. So we should say, Alhamdulillah. Then we should say, thank you, mommy and daddy, for all that you have done for me throughout my life and up until now. Abdullah bin Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. I asked the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, which of the deed is beloved most by Allah, the Most High, or the Exalted? The Messenger of Allah, may peace and blessing be upon him, said, Salat at its proper time. I asked, then next, or what next? He, Prophet ﷺ, said, replied, kindness to parents, 
kindness to parents. See the importance? After stating the importance of Salat in the proper time, the Prophet Wasallam said, kindness to parents. I asked, what next? He replied, jihad in the way of Allah. And this hadith is in Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary. Performance of Salat at the stated time means its performance in the earliest prescribed or at least its regularity. One should not give preference to mundane affairs over it. Salat and Jihad are the two most meritous duties of the Muslim. When nice treatment to parents is mentioned along with Salat and Jihad, it gives further importance to this injunction. Meaning that the treatment of your parents or the treatment towards your parents should be good and be of the utmost actions that you are doing. And you can see within this hadith that the Prophet ﷺ gave preference to all other actions. He brought th these three actions within the, state, the hadith where he mentioned salat in the proper time. One, then kindness to parents. And thirdly, jihad, fighting for the sake of Allah. And all these are in one hadith. Now, if you ask yourself, now, have I been dutiful to my mother? Have I obeyed my mother in keeping away from, you know, negative companies? Have, been, have I been dutiful to my mother in getting things for her on a normal or basic lifestyle? Have I been good in implementing the actions of my father in keeping away from things that are on Islamic we should think about this Abu Huraira anhu, may Allah be pleased with him reported the messenger of Allah, Allah of, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no son can repay the kindness shown by his father unless he finds him a slave and buys him and emancipates him. And this hadith is in Al-Bukhari. Commentary. This hadith is also this hadith also brings out the immense and the importance of the rights in regards to the pa parents and parents and the importance of their rights. So throughout these Quranic verses and throughout these hadiths, we can honestly say that worshiping Allah in oneness and in truth is a significant pillar for every Muslim, big or small, young or old. Then, secondly, we can say that we need to respect our mothers and fathers greatly. We need to implement what they have suggested that we should do. We need to keep, keep an account of what we do on a daily basis regarding how we're, our Honoring of the Tawheed, a Tawheed, and also respecting mother and father. And thirdly, we should also see the importance of jihad, where we make the words of Allah, the exalted, the utmost, and any other words of disbelief of the lowest level. That's jihad. So, in this sitting, we're going, to, we're going to pause here on these important and significant points relating to the importance of good mannerism to your mother and father. And we will continue, inshallah, in our next sitting 
regarding this topic. I hope to see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.